of cleanup for areas hard hit by storms. One of those spots in Lawrence County where the National Weather Service just confirmed an EF2 tornado did hit. Now, the tornado with winds up to 120 miles an hour ripped apart the Walmart in Louisa. As WKYT's Hillary Thornton shows us, it could be days before it can partially reopen and even longer until it's back to normal. Store managers here at the Louisa Walmart say right now their main focus is their heavily damaged roof as well as getting refrigeration restored to their grocery portion of the store. The cleanup is well underway. Employees focusing on the outside while other crews begin work on the actual structure in hopes of partially reopening this Saturday. We're trying to get grocery open back up, uh, hopefully by the end of the weekend, uh, specifically by Saturday, hopefully. Um, because that's the part that's, that's most crucial to the community around us. Unfortunately, store manager Marty Bishop says they lost a majority of their food after losing power during the storm. That storm leaving behind extensive damage both inside and outside of the store. The National Weather Service surveying that damage today. Lawrence County Emergency Management officials saying the survey team followed a path of damage from the Walmart into Fort Gay, West Virginia. That team determining the storm captured in this viewer video did bring along with it a tornado. That tornado responsible for the damage left at the Louisa Walmart. We're assessing still the structural damage to the, uh, to the store. We have some roofing contractors actually on site working on the roofing, trying to get the holes patched in the roofing and the, uh, the skylights. Uh, electric companies out back trying to get power restored to the facility. Bishop says thankfully they were able to get some local food banks in here right after they lost power. So while all of that food is a loss in their books, they say it is going to a good use for others. In Lawrence County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. And managers say they are hoping to have the Walmart store fully reopened in six to eight weeks. The 